Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. In this video we will enter the landlord's shop. These guys are busy with all kinds of stuff. You can see here Chevy Camaro that came out of it. And they are putting some racing engine in it. It will be a mega hot rod. But obviously we are talking Toyotas. So we will not speak about a PD Cruiser. We will speak about 2004 Taco, which is right here. And this is 2004 SR5 Tacoma. I mean, what can be more common truck on this channel than this generation of tacos? The experts already guess what is happening so it has that 3 RZFE 2.7 liter 4 cylinder engine this baby made it flawlessly until 205,000 miles and it pooped it pooped itself unfortunately because believe it or not it has a blown head gasket so it came for the code number one and number two misfires in number one and number two cylinders that's how the whole story started the landlord's team Chad's team look at it and they said hey you need to check compressions so they check compression and on number one and number two they were lower than on the remaining cylinders. After that you can see so called leak down test. These are snap on tools and the tester is hooked to the number one cylinder and his snap on camera is inserted in number two. And I don't know if you can see it. I will tell him to buy a bigger screen because we live in America, bigger is better. But I think if I zoom on it you can see the leak of the coolant, you can see the creak. There is a pressure being put in that number one as we said and the pressure causes and showing us that coolant leaking in the cylinders and that obviously if you have these leaks on the startup as the coolant is being used up it causes misfires and it will give you hard starts in beginning it will be only on the start and it will clear itself it will be running good and depending on severity of issue it might also then become while driving or idling at least but normally it starts on the startups it clears itself up and you think you are good to go but at the end you will end up with this so this vehicle will definitely will be getting at least entire head gasket job only after that you can decide if actually there is a crack in the head or not because you send the whole head to the machine shop so that was something interesting from their shop for you. They called me. They thought you as a subscribers will appreciate this video. After the can bag on this walk Yeah, yeah, I know. I just I just glanced at it. Oh yeah, no, it's uh look underneath it. Well you had a great comment. Right there where it's burning between the two. Yep, unreal. That one there's not bad. That one there's not far behind it. Uh huh. And we will never figure out why that head looks like somebody had it all. Well, we have no history of it. Yeah. That doesn't mean that it wasn't done at some point, but. Yeah. 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 So here we see the engine. But. Wait when you will see the head gasket. Of 
completely missing between one and two. Isn't that amazing? And that was another video from the Toyota world for you. This time not from my shop, but from the landlords. I guess at that high mileage and high age, that engine just got tired of serving the head gasket completely separated between one and two. And they did a really good job diagnosing that problem and will take care of it. That head obviously will go to the machine shop and they have a big task because these hot spots and burns between the cylinders on the block. So they need to make absolutely clear the block is good and not only the head need, will be the re surfaced and tested for <clears throat> cracks and the valves will be tested but also the block which will be the receiving that new head gasket that thin layer the block needs to be straight so i'm sure they will be making sure using the machining machine at straight edge they will be checking the block for correctness because if you will not, if the block is damaged and you will put again brand new head gasket and resurfaced head, it will not stop this problem and it will keep happening. Uh, I'm not sure what they will say later. Now it's waiting for customers' approvals again. If the block will be damaged, I will make another video about it. But this looks like a straightforward repair from now on. So let's cross fingers for that owner that it's good. And they can just keep using that wonderful little old Toyota. I hope you enjoy this video. You find it interesting. That's why I film it for you. If you like it, give it a thumb up, please. Be subscribed, have notification on so you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.